Yo, what's good, my Shinobi? Welcome back to another video. And today, this one is a different type of video. I wanted to switch it up. And, you know, as Ishiki is coming out and season five is on the tail end um, of, you know, going out or whatever, um, I wanted to make a video of possible DLCs that could be ideas in the near future or could come out in the near future if they wanted to add that. So, Without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, these are DLCs that I personally came up with or had an idea of. These are not, you know, coming out in the near future. I do not know that, just for a disclaimer. So, to get into the first build, this one would be probably my personal favorite to see. This DLC would be the Naruto Genin version DLC. Well, he's still a Genin, obviously, but... um. Kid Naruto. With Naruto, you can do many different things with this, but first off, I'd make this in another attack build. I feel like for Naruto, attack build's really the only way to go with him. Now, for the first Jutsu, I have Uzumaki Barrage, or just like a Shadow Clone Jutsu where he at least, you know, summons some Shadow Clones and they do like a nice little combo on, you know, your enemy. For the next Jutsu, I have Demon Wind Bomb. Now, I got this from from Naruto Storm where he turns himself using Transformation Jutsu into a Demon Wind Shuriken and throws himself at the enemy and does, you know, some hits and then a little combo after. For the ultimate, we have the QB One Tails mode where it will replace your jutsus with like a chakra claw slash or like a grab with the one tail QB chakra. And then for extra input, you can do the vermilion Rasengan that he does combines with the QB chakra and a Rasengan. And yeah, that's my first build that I have. Next build will be Kid Gara. Now this would be a defense build. And I feel like the first jutsu should be like a sand coffin kind of. You know, give, do a, give him at least a little attack move. Next jutsu would be like, you know the um, spear that he can protect himself in that he used against Sasuke in the tuning exams? This will be his second jutsu. And then for his ultimate, I believe he should turn into Shukaku and do like uh, air bullets, uh, sand tsunami. Or he can do um, Tail Beast Bomb, whichever one they wanted to input. So that's my second build. Third build is another Kid build, and it is Kid Sasuke. Now for a Kid Sasuke build, I want this one to be an attack build specifically. And for the first Jutsu, I think we should have Lion's Barrage, which is the Tai Jutsu he copied from Rock Lee and used for himself. Next up, we have the dragon fire technique, which he used against Orochimaru, which he uses wires and sets him on fire with the fire style jutsu. Now, for his ultimate, it would be the curse mark version three. And I feel like since he has the wings on his back, he should have like a little flying ability. Um, if they wanted to add other abilities, like do a attack with his wings or something like that. But for extra input and for the ultimate, is the Onyx Chidori. Now I already know we have the Onyx Chidori as an ability in the game, but this one will probably just be like a one shot hit on whoever you hit or anybody in the facility too. Next up is not a kid build, but it is somebody who, you know, I really like a lot. Actually, he's my favorite character. And this one is going to be Jubito. Now, Jubito would be a healer build in my opinion. And his first Jutsu would be kind of like the Baryon Tailbreaker that Naruto Baryon Mode DLC has. As the spikes on his arm had chakra flowing out of him and he could make arms of chakra to use against his enemies. Um, I feel like that would be a nice uh, first ability. Second ability, you know how he could change the orbs with his hands. I feel like you can give him an ability where he can change the form of the orbs to be a shield. Or with input, you can also launch them at your enemy and do damage and resetting their jutsu. Then lastly for the ultimate, it'll be called Ten Tails Takeover. As he finally takes over the Ten Tails and becomes the Chin Cherokee. He will get a boost in strength and attack power, speed, and defense, and he'll get all his health back. Just like the Kurama Link mode, but I feel like I don't know what the next input would be for a big ultimate move right now. That's as far as I got. Leave any input down below of what you think an ultimate should be for 
Jubito. Now we are getting into the last one. This is another kid build. I'm sorry, but with the introduction of Tamari in season five, they have opened the gate up for so many more characters, especially their kid versions. So my last one is Kid Shino. Now my man was a dog, I'm not gonna lie. And I ain't gonna lie, they disrespected him in Boruto, and they haven't shown him no love in Shinobi Striker. So I feel like a kid Shino build would be great. And this one would be a range build, obviously. So for the first Jutsu, I have Insect or slash Beetle Spear, where he fires a large ball of insects at the enemy to slow their movement, reset Ninjutsu, and poisons the enemy for at least five seconds they can go between five to ten seconds next up we have parasitic destruction where the user uses his insects sends them at a target and they feed off the enemy's chakra blocking their ninjutsu and dealing damage over time and lastly for the ultimate which i also took from storm is called insect tornado i remember getting this move done on me a couple of times and storm and i feel like it would be a very powerful move and a great ultimate thank you guys for watching the video so much leave any suggestions down below of dlcs you would like to see in the future make sure to like comment subscribe and i'm out peace